Hello everyone, welcome to the App Review Wednesday. Um, this is going to be a new show that I'm going to be going to start up um, and do a bunch of reviews on apps for the iPhone, Android, Windows Phone, um, and some desktop uh, applications. Um, this is going to be replacing the games with Stevie walkthroughs for now. Um, I'm going to see how this goes and if it doesn't go as planned then I might come up with another video uh, series or something. Uh, but I really kind of want to get back into the um, app reviews. Um, so let's get started. Um, today we're going to be looking at a app that is made by sorted apps uh basically um it's a sorted apps makes a bunch of uh apps that you can basically take know what you have basically um so you know what movies you have and different things um yeah, it's it's an okay app um, they do have a lot of different other apps you can download. Uh, this one is their video game one, so I thought this was kind of neat. So, I was gonna try it, and then I was like, I kind of like this. Uh, just because you can, maybe you have a friend that wants to borrow a game from you, and you don't know right offhand how, all, all the games you have. Well, this app, if you have it on your phone, you can, and your friend can pick it out. And different things. Uh, for example, we got uh, Grand Theft Auto. Let's just go to Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, basically what it does is uphill, it shows basically the game, what is rated, different things, a game summary, and the developer and all that. Um, and what kind of um, genre it is. Um, and the, and the um, IGN score. And then down here, it can tell you how many players um, and different things, how many players, um, input devices you can use, and different things, um, and what's packaging. Uh, then you can uh, actually keep track of to lend to. You can click that and click OK and pick a contact that you lent it to. So then you don't forget that you lent it to someone. Uh, the purchase price, you can set a purchase price. Uh, for this copy, I spent $59.99 on it. And then, and then it's got sell it on eBay. Uh, this, this, uh, this basically will open the eBay app, uh, start a post already for you, and then you can uh, post it on eBay and sell it. And it gives you basically what the recommended price is. Uh, for it and how much money you're probably going to lose. Uh, then you can um, rate it to what you like it to. Okay. And then completed. You can mark it as completed or no. Put a high score in. And storage location just in case you f have like a bunch of games and you have it all categorized or something. You can do it. Uh, put it in there where you know where it's going to be at. It also tells you how many discs come with the um, things under the uh, platform details. It's kind of neat. Uh, that's really, really neat. Uh, you can go into and then you can cancel. Um, on the free version, you can add up to nine items. Uh, so that's okay. Wish they would have ads, but I like how there aren't ads in the free version. So if you buy the paid version, you're definitely not going to get ads because not even the free version has ads. Uh, that's one thing I really, really like. You do have to make an account to use the app. Uh, that was one thing that I kind of thought was odd, but then you can have it sync through your PC and different things. Uh, so that's kind of neat. Um, you got a, down here, we got your wish list, uh, we can add games you wish to have. Let's say you're at a store and you wanted this game and you want to make sure you know what the game is. You can take a picture of it, enter the barcode, 
or search from an online database and pick it and then it'll pop up here and then you just uh, the settings app basically uh, just to change your things uh, change some settings around uh, the colors and different things in rows and themes this is one thing I do like. It has a lot of different things that you don't normally would see in an app. Um, and then import and export. You can import um, from different other apps and export to other files like Excel or something. That's one thing that would be neat to have. Uh, especially, let's just say, I don't know, for insurance claims. Uh, just in case your house burns down. And you still have your phone, you can export it to that and have the prices what you paid if you entered it in different things. Um, so that's all really nice to have. I like how they put all these different options in. Uh, you got a help section, which you can click and learn about different things. You can email them if you find a bug. And then if you go to collections or collectors, these are all the apps they have you can get. Um, you can get apps that have uh, video manager, book manager, music collection, all these different apps you can get and basically add whatever you want in it. Uh, they have, I mean, they have things for everything. I would not even imagine so many apps. Uh, for something like this. I just don't imagine that. Um, so that's really kind of neat uh, to have. Uh, so if you go to collectors, they actually sell a all-in-one bundle. Um, uh, so you can get that. Uh, these are paid purchases. Uh, they cost for everything. It's $24.99 or for individual um, things uh, you have to pay five ninety nine. So if you just want want like this app, if you want the paid version of this app, you have to pay five ninety nine. Uh, so the better deal is just spend the twenty four bucks and be done with it. So you'd have all these different apps uh, just in case you want to. I don't know, use them. Uh, so, if you want to save money, I'd really suggest picking it up for $5.99. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how to, how easy it is to basically take a picture and get the information down. So I'm going to delete this game. Um, find out how I can delete it. I can do it this way. This one. And then I'm going to get rid of GTA for, for Xbox. Okay. So then I'm going to do this. So let's say you're in a store or you're making, uh, you want to add information. In. Uh, you click this plus button up here. You get this option to camera scan, bulk scan. Uh, basically, this would be if you pay for the the app itself, you can use this. You just sit here, with just keep snapping pictures of what you have. Manual barcode and search. Uh, so I'm going to use the camera selection, and then it's going to say this. Okay, so sorry about that little cutoff. Um, I just found something out that uh, kind of makes me not like this app anymore. Um, so the free version, once you scan 10 items, uh, you can't scan anymore with a with the camera function. So that leaves you with adding games with the barcode or the database search. Um, I was trying to sit in change that around and then I found that out so with if that's the case all the apps are gonna be like that uh, and that just seems kind of stupid uh, doing that 
because there's no point to. I know, I know the company wants you to buy the app because they give you the app ad free and everything, but it's just kind of stupid. It'd be okay if they just let you have 10, uh, 10 games or 10 items in it, but for them to lock it where even if you remove one and then try to take a picture and put another game in, you can't. I mean, that kind of just wasn't what I was expecting from them to do. Uh, because I know a lot of the free trial type things, it would still allow you to use the app, but you wouldn't get all that functionality. But I would think at least something like that small functionality, they would allow you to continue using. Uh, this review kind of went from good to bad within just a few seconds of me trying to show you what was really, uh, how you would add a game, but since I can't do that, I guess, um, it's not that great of an app. If, if you want to spend the money on it, that'd be okay. Like, if you have just, I don't know, let's, let's say you just want to buy the video game portion, $5.99, and that's it, that'd be okay, but... After them doing this, I might not want to buy one of their apps uh, because I was actually debating about buying the collection because that'd just be something nice to have around. But after them doing this, uh, I don't think it would be that great of a thing to get if they can't even give away something like that or take functionality away from their app because of something stupid like that. So, um, really did not expect this video to tone out this way, uh, but hope you liked this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and leave a comment down below what you think about this video, or if um, you wanna see more type of videos like this or something. Uh, but, like I said, I will See you in the next video and hope you have a nice day. See ya.